Hi, hi, my name is Nick Crowley. I'm from Dodgeville, and this is my prep profile. And Nick, uh, multiple sport athlete. You're a traditionalist, basketball, baseball, and football. Uh, yeah. How did you get involved? What's the first one you remember to play in? Well, my mom used to coach the girls' team here, and I used to come up and practice with them. So kind of so, basketball's so in basketball. your blood? Yep. Your mom was a pretty good player, too, in her day. Uh, yep. That uh, you ever play against her? Did, or Sometimes, she's in the backyard, that? shooting hoops and stuff. Uh, who wins? Me. Okay. <laughs> how about your dad? Did your dad coach you, too? No, he was more of a football player, so he's a football guy. And then uh, baseball, did you start t-ball? Yep, yep, same all. Just so as long as you did, once you, once you got started, sports were kind of in your blood? Yep. How have you been able to balance the three sports plus school? Uh, being a multiple sport athlete is not an easy thing to do. You know, just you take them all seriously, and well, you got to make sure you get your school stuff done first, and then have fun with them all. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, it's probably basketball. And now you're going to be heading to lacrosse next year? Yep. Are you going to play basketball there? I think so. Yeah, that's the plan. And uh, what do you plan to study? Pre-pharmacy. So, fine. pharmacist, uh, you like science? Yep, science and chemistry and stuff like that, and math. Yeah, how was the recruiting process, or how did you end up with uh, lacrosse? How did that work I, out? I just got connected with their coach, and I don't know, we've just been talking since then. So, uh, here we are in May, a little spring fever setting in, and senioritis, you, you ready for the next level? Yeah, for sure, I'm ready to be done here, <laughs> and yeah, I'm ready to go to college. Now, uh, one of the things uh, for your basketball, you get a chance to play in the WBC All-Star Game. Yep. So you you want to make a little pitch here for, uh, I know you're raising money for it. Well, on June, or, yeah, June 15th, I'm playing in the game, and I'm supposed to raise money for the MAC fund, so. How's that going so far? I'm done now. I've, I've raised it all. I've raised over $2,000 for it. Wow. That's a, that's a lot from the community, and yeah. that'll be the, which division, All-Star Game? Division three. And are you looking forward to playing with uh, some certain certain guys on the team? Yeah, uh, Bronson Koenig. I get to play. Uh, I get to play against him. That should be fun. Yeah, who are you gonna get to play with? With um, Nate Dodge and the Prowl kid from East Troy, and the kid from Lodi, and, and just kids around here from the Dells too. So, so guys you played against in high yep. school, and uh, yep. finally get to play with them instead of against them. And how did? Uh, when did you find out about the All Star Game? What was it like when you found out? I was, yeah, it was pretty cool because my coach called me during the state state basketball tour tournament and said that you're in, so I was pretty happy. But uh, now you look at baseball. You're a baseball player too. It's been kind of tough. How tough is it being a baseball player in Wisconsin when you get nine games in so far? Yeah, I don't know. We've had a rough year so far because we missed our first nine games and like it's like sort of been hard to start. And, uh, kind of used to it though. It's Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have uh, it's a most inspirational teammate, someone who's kind of inspired you through the years? Jake Beshin. I've been playing with him since I was like six and yeah, for basketball. And what, what, is he, what kind of impact has he had on you? Great. Because cause I've always been a point guard. He was my big man, so we always had that good big and low kind of. And that chemistry? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite team, Cubs? Yep. Chicago Cubs fan, because my mom was, so so I was kind of raised up as a Cubs fan. It's kind of hard to be a Cubs fan these yeah, days. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not very, very good. And then, uh, is it Kevin Durant, your favorite player? Do you watch a lot of NBA? Yep, I like the Thunder. Just, I don't know. So definitely you're keeping an eye on the uh, playoffs. And, yeah. And then uh, I said, uh, favorite opponent, Prairie de Sheen. Yeah, they're always tough. They always, like their gym's always packed and it's loud in there, so it's fun to play there. Now your list favorite movie forty two. What uh, what kind of impact did that movie have on I you was, when you saw it? It was uh, all, all just the stuff that he did was great and how he made like an impact on the sport. I don't know because he was always like the black kid and they didn't like want want him to play, but it was it's pretty cool. Oh, um, said favorite place to visit. Uh, you've been to spring training in, in uh, Arizona. Yep, for the Cubs. It was pretty. It was sweet. Do you have a favorite Cubs player? Not now. Well, I don't know. Starling Castro is probably, probably my favorite because I play short shortstop and he plays shortstop. So, yeah. So, uh, when were you down there? Have you been down there a few times? Or? No, just once when I was a freshman. Me and my family went down. But it's kind of hard, though, with being a, an athlete in yeah. high school. Yeah, yeah. We we don't get 
get much time to drive, drive around and stuff. So that yes. one time was nice. For you, how the three sports work that you played worked out? How how did they transition from one to another for you? Good, cause cause there's no breaks, so then you don't have time to like slack off. So you just keep going. Uh, what what's probably the biggest skill you've learned from being a multiple sport athlete? You know, just work hard and take everything seriously, cause it's gonna go by fast. And... Yeah, when you look back at your time at Plateau, what what what? How's this Plateau? <laughs> I'll rephrase the question. When you look at your time at Dodgeville, how has this place impacted you, or what are you going to remember the most about the high school and the community? Um, I don't know. It's just a great place to be. There's a lot of fans, and the crowd's always good, so it's, it's just good to be, be here. going to be tough going away to school? or Sort of. I don't know, but I think I'm ready for it. So. Do you have a uh, number of classmates that are going to lacrosse? I don't think so. No, nope, there's none here that are going to lacrosse, so it should be, it should be different. A chance to, um, to yeah. make some new friends and yeah. meet some new people. Um, you said uh, favorite uh, website with sports. You yeah. begin at the sports. Yeah. And what? Um, how big are you in the social networking? Do you follow Twitter or any of those? So, or? Yeah, sort of. Not really. really though. I'm not a big guy on that. But. Not enough time with everything else yeah. involved in. And uh, what? Uh, what do you? You said plan to study pharmacy. How did uh, that kind of come about? Uh, That's my dad. My dad's the pharmacist at the local store. And I've always like worked there, and so I, don't know, I just want to follow his footsteps. Now, as far as volunteer work, you see, worked out with the church and Habitat for Humanity. Uh, you've done some youth coaching too. Yep. Yeah, our coach puts on a thing on Sundays sometimes, and I just go up and help and show the kids how it's done. Do you remember when you were the younger age? Yeah, and, uh, sort did, of. Did, did you have like a guy or somebody that you followed or you Josh saw? Josh Culver was always my guy that I looked up to. Pretty good player. Yeah, and now he's. He like coached us during the summer, so it's pretty cool that I got to play, play, play for him too. Can you see yourself uh, maybe being a coach or maybe. coaching your kids down the road? I hope so. I hope I can show them some stuff. And, and what was it like having? You said you and your mom was the girls' coach when you started. What was it, what was it like having a parent as a coach? I don't know. Well, well, it was nice because she like knew what she was talking talk about. She coached me, but then she was always gone, so it's kind of hard, you know. But now she's been able to follow you and. Uh, yeah. You know, always talk about parents and your children. Uh, can you talk to your parents after games, or do you need a cooling off period? No, my mom and dad are pretty good about staying calm about the games, and uh, I don't know, it's nice. They don't get that upset. Yeah. Kind of just let you experience it. And, yeah. And uh, what kind of advice would you give a freshman about school and sports uh, looking back on your time here? Always work hard and take it seriously because it's going to go by fast, because it did for me. It's been... Do you remember that when you made that transition from freshman or younger guy to a leader? You've been a leader the last couple of years, and what that was like? Yeah, when I was a sophomore, I was the point guard for the, for the varsity team, and that was that was a big step for me. Kind of nerve wracking. Yeah. Kind of nerve wracking. Yeah, I was nervous. And uh, I guess uh, it's a dream gift: tickets to the NBA Finals. Yep, yeah, that'd be nice, but I don't think that's happening. <laughs> Oh, you got a dream, right? Yeah. <laughs> Any place you like to travel to and you ever been to or that you uh, would be like your ideal vacation spot? Not really. Just the uh, spring training again, hopefully someday. So uh, if you could uh, go to spring training every year, would that be? Yep, for sure. Okay. Well, uh, Nick, you've had an outstanding high school career, and good luck uh, the rest of this, uh, your senior year. Right, thank you.